There's been a spate of rather intriguing thefts about town recently. Robberies in London are hardly supernatural events. They look like common robberies at first, but these perpetrators have all claimed to have been under the influence of some What's that man done? Rob the pawnbrokers down the road. A demon made me do it. I can't remember much. That's what's so queer. I've never stolen anything in my life before. Let's pretend that I believe you. Tell me who made you do it. All I can recall is a silver watch. What can you tell me about the robbery? There's not much to say. Most of the items did come from the same seller, Enzio Capelli, Sorcerer Supreme, a famous showman from Italy. Several weeks ago, he was forced to pawn his family heirlooms, debts. I'll have the address of the last person who redeemed something of his, a lovely pearl necklace. That helpful? Not again! Stop her! Stop! Somebody stop that thief! Go away from your area. You took something from a pawn shop. It's all very hazy, but I remember something silver flashing in front of my eyes. Then I heard a sort of bell. Next thing I know, I'm here with you. My only lead is this mysterious buyer.
This chap might lead me to the demon. What are you doing back there, miss? She's hiding from. Give you the necklace now. <laughs> Mr. Enzio Capelli, I presume? So you're responsible for the theft of your own jewels? You are very much mistaken. Aren't you, my child? Yes, I'm very much mistaken. Hold on. You are very much mistaken. And now you are so very, very tired, aren't you? Yes, I'm very, very tired. <sighs> now, you're going to do a little job of work for me, aren't you? My goodness, 
What foul behavior. What's going on? Where am I? You've been arrested for theft. How very intriguing. I can't remember a jot of it. <laughs> Let's get you out of here. I've pulled a few strings, and they won't prosecute on account of your losing your mind. Be free, little chicken.